because i know that i am in all beings as their essential existence i enjoy the state of the supreme self parmatman in them i enjoy my status as god on that capital on my own being i have created the entire universe i know that whatever is seen is of my own nature and is my own body and therefore i have become parmatman if you wish to attain my status you must have this knowledge only then will you reach my status it is only on this strength of parmatman that i dissolve the earth millions of times and then create it again millions of times those who understand this great principle become one with me the sun never has any pride that it is the sun the sun dries up bad smells and purifies with it rays and it may even dry up sweet nectars the sun is not concerned with whatever good or bad that may happen similarly the vastness of existence never takes pride in doing anything because of the vastness of existence there may be a loss or a gain of thousands or millions of rupees but that vast existence is never happy or sorry about any of it it is because of the vast all pervading parmatman that this world appearance naturally comes into existence and will be dissolved suffering or enjoyment is each person's destiny in life and therefore parmatman who is the cause yet not the door of all does not become liable and is not to blame only that which is non parmatman takes the blame upon itself parmatman is unstained and unmoved by anything he who causes all to suffer or enjoy yet remains aloof and untouched is parmatman one who knows him attains his status the almighty god has nothing to do with sin or merit on the strength of that knowledge i am the door yet not the door of all things he who knows me as his own nature is only myself that devotion is the greatest by which the devotee does not consider me as separate from himself nor considers himself as separate from me that devotee becomes one with me and knows me as such before creation i did such devotion myself my own son brahmadev was faltering while creating the world he was tremendously moved by compassion at the sight of so much sorrow as well as pleasures and he said nobody abides by the rules made by me so i do not want to create this world at that time vishnu said why do you bother about all of this your job is to envision only people will reap the fruit of their actions so you need not be concerned with that having heard this brahma was free of anxiety he created the universe but remained aloof lord krishna said dear uddhava why are you afraid how big is your family you have five or six members in your family why do you take pride in them see how vast my family of the universe is i am not worried about it i do not lament about it it is all only conceptual why do you identify yourself with it without the one self the entire world is like a dead body it cannot move he who knows that all of this is the play of the self is really the greatest gyani let people do any austere practices and learn the vedas without the knowledge that is given here all of that is futile many people do yogic exercises and perform various sacrifices but all of that is meaningless without the knowledge of brahman i learned this from my guru sandipani there are many sons of cowherds but only i could achieve this glory through the blessings of my guru this is the flower of devotion to the guru that all worship me calling me almighty god without meeting my devotee my true nature shorupo will not be understood therefore only they receive this knowledge who do service to my devotees and only they become united with me my devotees are the sacredness of the ganges and the essential sanctity of all the places of pilgrimage they bring you into themselves and then make you one with me ocean of godhood therefore one who does everything by way of devotion as instructed by his guru cannot remain without attaining the realization of brahman